My name is Alex Barham, and this is going to be your point of view guide for paddling the Stone Valley of the Raquette. This is brought to you by NRS and Mountain Man Outdoors, who is the largest outdoor retailer of whitewater gear in the entire region. Please check them out at mountainmanoutdoors.com. Stone Valley is the definition of a classic class five run. It is about as manky and technical as you can actually have in a negotiated release. And mostly you're working with lines that are a boat width to a boat width and a half as you paddle down this class five. If you are in that spot, everything can just look buttery smooth, but deviate more than a foot or two off the line in any direction or hit it at the wrong angle and the ledge holes will absolutely punish you. The rock is really sharp and points upstream, so you do not want to mess up here. The run starts off right below the dam, and this first rapid is really just an initiation. I shouldn't have to explain much here to you besides surfing the ledge hole out. If you're not feeling it here, there's a trail on both sides. Just hike out. The first big horizon line is Colton Falls. Scout on the left. You're gonna find a crux move into a small eddy above a huge slide where 80 to 90% of the area goes into an enormous ledge hole at the bottom that is super attentive. The line starts off at an innocuous little spot in the middle. What you wanna do is look for the folding seam dropping off, paddle right to it and point the boat to one o'clock. It's a bit of a jumble down into this next eddy but once you're there, you'll be able to see what you're doing ahead of you. My favorite way to visualize this move is by holding my left hand out in a fist. Looking down at your hand, the shelf basically makes the exact same curve. What you wanna do is snake in to the right side of your wrist and pop off right at the point of your knuckles. If you do that, this is super sweet and you just fly. Miss your knuckle by more than a little bit and you're gonna hang up and kind of teeter-totter over, go way too soon, and you're gonna get chundered in the curtain going across. Why is it so important that you make this lateral boof? Well, you only have three or four feet to work with below before you scoot past a rock on the right and wind up in the staging eddy for the next slide. Once you're set up in the staging eddy for the slide, this is all downhill. Look for the rock with a bit of a flume coming off of it, nudge it on the left side, pointing a little bit right, and then you're going to very quickly fall down a little staircase into a slot. If you ride that slot tight, there's a flake at the bottom, bunny hop off the flake, drop a little bit of left edge, not a lot, and you'll find yourself racing through the run out. Watch out for the big rock at the bottom on the left, it is quite undercut and it will pin you. It's an extremely good idea to have safety at the hole if you've never run this before, but running safety up at the crux move is virtually impossible. Third drop, which is directly below Colton, is called 100 proof. Look for a sloping boof flake rock on the left at the top of the chute and use it to get centered and then hug left. There is a somewhat sticky hole at the bottom, but if you're pointed straight, it'll be fine. The next rapid is called mushroom. It is by far the simplest move, but being off by even a couple feet to the right will put you into two incredibly sticky ledge holes. I once screwed this up my first run of the season and the only way they pulled me out was by grabbing me by the GoPro. Simply enter on the right chute and start to hang out working your way left. You will see a flake on the very end of the left shelf. Approach slowly and look in your landing for another big rock. You want to land so that you're one boat width to the right of that rock and then scoot straight out for another boof. Don't overthink it, just do it. Below Mushroom, you'll have a little bit of boogie water and then you'll cruise into Narrows. This is probably the most dangerous place for someone that has never run the river before because it looks incredibly innocuous. Enter the rapid all the way on the left where there is a big green tongue. You're going to slowly work your way right to an island in the center which forms a narrow little chute. You're gonna take that all the way to the end and look for a big lateral rock splat boof. Take a big left stroke, land clean. 
If you bail out early for any reason, you will wind up in a hole that is just absolutely savage. You don't want to be there. The next rapid is the one that is most often walked next to Colton. It is called Tubbs. It is a double drop with another two enormous holes where you are just taking a nearly blind entrance, looking for a flake that you can't see until you're already well over the lip and then trying to punch the next two holes. Best place to scout this one is from the river left, but you will see people running this starting from river right, river center, and river left. Really, the point is that when you get to the horizon line, you are about three, four feet off the rock that guards the left, and I look for a seam line, which pretty much puts you in the perfect place just left of center of that boot flake. Go down, hit that thing as hard as you can, get your nose up, and as you hit, you wanna just drop a little bit of left edge and take a left stroke to carve the boat out to the left. Try not to go overly left, you wanna be more or less centered as you crest the next drop and push through. You should expect to hit the pole at the bottom with almost no speed. So make sure you dig your way out. If you swim in here, it's gonna suck, but definitely try to swim your way to the right if you can figure out what upstream is. That's the only way that you're getting out of here. The last big rapid is called Particle Accelerator. As the name implies, it goes really fast, throws you hard out right onto a rock. The biggest thing that you have to worry about is that the last third of this slide domes. What that means is that if you're dead center, you're gonna fly out dead center on that dome. But all you have to be is a little bit right or a little bit left, and you'll wind up nowhere near where you wanted to go. Get through the little jumble in the beginning and then make sure that you are a little bit left of center. There are three dragon's tongues that I'm looking for. I'm gonna punch the first one to the left, drift a little bit to the center, punch the next one to the left, and then there's gonna be one really big one which I wanna get way up and over, and then look for the rooster tail at the bottom. If you get about two, three feet to the right of that rooster tail, that is absolutely the sweet spot. Do not go left of the rooster tail. You will wind up in a horrible slot and be very careful about shying away from the rooster tail and winding up way further right than you wanna be. This is how you take huge wall smashes off the right side. I've seen paddles explode, boats explode, helmets explode taking hits off that thing. But that's why they call it Particle Accelerator. The last rapid for the run is called 200 Proof. As the name implies, it's just like the little one below Colton, but about twice as big. So same thing, look for a boof flake rock on the upper left part of the entry, and then basically keep punching left at the wall. Even if you feel like you're gonna hit the wall, you probably won't and at the end, turn down and punch the hole at the bottom. Don't look over your shoulder to see what your friends are doing or start celebrating too early. I've seen people take amazing swims in that little hole at the bottom because they thought they were done. Once you're sideways in that thing, you're not coming out. Well, that's it. It's short but sweet. A quick lap will only take you about 10, 15 minutes. But as I said before, you absolutely have to be able to work within a two foot margin of error in class four or five. You absolutely have to be able to do a lateral boof and you need to be able to paddle with speed confidently and punch holes. If you can't do all of those things, just take your time. Swimming anywhere in here is an absolute misery and it puts everyone at risk because in a lot of these, there's just no way to push a boat around safely. Enjoy, stay safe. Oh, hey, right. <laughs>